Well, it's been a while, but Valley Weekly is back. Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Cullen Holt, and Valley Weekly restarts right now. Last week, local FFA programs attended the state convention and came back with plenty of hardware. Mountain View's Jim Bridger FFA set a program record and led the state with 18 state degree recipients. I think it says that we're successful. Like, we're one of the smaller chapters in the state, and having our name called that many times at state convention was a pretty big accomplishment for us. Students also earned scholarships, state proficiency awards, and local teams finished near the top of the leaderboard throughout the convention. Um, I think the fact that we get so much support from the community is really cool, and we get to do a lot of cool things that maybe you don't get to do in other sports. We get to travel a lot. I think that's my favorite part. I think our FFA program is based on a, a lot of kids that come together to have a community of FFA. We have kids from all different kinds of sports and different backgrounds in agriculture, but we all come together to form like that tight-knit family of FFA. Jim Bridger FFA was also named a Gold Emblem Chapter, and teacher Carrie Covalo was awarded Champion Agricultural Education Teacher. I think Jim Bridger FFA is about tradition and family and community, because if it wasn't for the families around here and our community members, the school that supports us, we would not be successful, because it's those families that raise good kids and share them in this program and help me help kids be successful. In addition, Lyman FFA also had a strong showing at the state convention, seeing several students earn state proficiency awards and state degrees, in addition to being named a Silver Emblem Chapter. It was, it was amazing, um, because especially with the Silver Chapter, it wasn't just you know one team that did it, it wasn't just one individual that did so good. It was our chapter, it was all of our kids' hard work, it was our ag teachers' hard work, it was everybody together. I think it's really important to, like I said, just meet new people and we have a lot of like job interviews and things that people could do which will help them in the long run with jobs and help them get to where they want to be in life. Speaking of state conventions, there was plenty to celebrate at the FCCLA state convention just two weeks ago. Lyman came home with six first place finishes as well as the Outstanding Large Chapter of the Year award. In addition, they saw two students elected state officers, including Cope Thomas. Our quality in our chapter is very high. I feel like we all apply ourselves as much as we can and give our best efforts towards our projects, and that really shows in the, in the competition. Michaela Berg was also elected and will serve as the state FCCLA president for Wyoming. It was really awesome to be able to see my success from six years ago to now and be able to do all of this now that it's normal and now that we're doing things like competing in these events. Those students now look ahead to the national convention in June. In sports, the spring seasons continue as we saw the Cross Valley rivalry move to the soccer pitch for the first time this year. Visit MyLocalRadio.com for highlights of the boys and girls matches, including a thrilling finish on the boys' side. Well, that's it for this edition of Valley Weekly. Thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful Easter weekend.